And so, after perhaps 8,000 years, which saw the people building their many languages and different ways of life, dreaming a world full of legend and myth, after all this time, in one terrible year, it all came to an end. When the horror came to the coast early in 1862, it found the villages flourishing as never before. When it died from a lack of victims, the totem poles looked down on the unburied dead and the pitifully small groups of stunned survivors. The Shimshian lost half their people, the Kwaigil two-thirds, the Haida three-quarters. It is one of the world's greatest tributes to the strength of the human spirit that most of those who lived and their children after them remained sane and adapted to the strange new world in which they found themselves, ruled by those intent on destroying all that remained of their essential lives, their languages, their customs and beliefs. People are still here, changed in appearance, in language and custom, but still alive. A part of the present with strong roots in the magic past. A part of all our lives.